this area is very close to being ready to paint. So today we're going to talk a little bit about finished sanding. A good way, a better way, and one of the best ways. But before that, let me explain real quick how we got to this point. First, we did all the bodywork. New fender, dent, door bottom, rocker, cab corner, and a body line. Then we primed those spots and block sanded, cleaned up, masked off the whole area, hit those block sanded areas again with two light coats of primer, and now we're ready to finish sand and paint. One method of finish sanding is to use a DA. The advantage is that it's fast and pretty flat. The disadvantage is, is you can easily make mistakes. There's quite a bit of dust and it's hard to see your work. In the old days, they had just these, but they can work to do finish sanding. But again, it has a lot of movement. It's aggressive. You can bump into tape and make mistakes. A better choice would be a little palm sander like this has less movement and easier to control. So we have some 240 on there and all you have to do is hold it flat and stay away from contours, edges, and tape. So we're just going to concentrate on this flat surface. Later on we'll get this by hand up here, these contours, the edges, and near the tape. And then whatever's left we can scuff. So we're just going to concentrate on just this little area. We're going to keep the DA flat, real flat, and stay away from the edges. Just blow that off real quick, see? And that's it. That little section would be done. Now we would clean up the edges with a little bit of hand sandpaper up in here with the hand sandpaper. Anything that we couldn't get with the hand sandpaper, we'd use a scuff pad like this guy and get up real nice and tight near the tape. The idea is you cannot have any shiny paint or uh, primer, unsanded primer, unsanded paint. It all has to be dull before you paint. If you'd like to eliminate the dust while finished sanding and be able to see your work, you can use a dust-free sander. And this is a Merca. And I'm just using a DeWalt battery operated vacuum that I can sort of hold as I DA. And I'll put the product list in the description. And again, we're just going to hold it flat and stay away from these contours or body lines. We're going to hit that with sand, hand sandpaper and come around and get the rest of this that we didn't get with sandpaper with a scuff pad. So again, we're going to hold it flat. We'll turn this on and I can get about two panels with this before I have to clean it. We're just going to hold it flat. Look at that, no dust. Makes it nice. And we're just going to concentrate on this area right here. That's it for that area. And again, to get the contours, we're just going to come down here with some hand sandpaper and get in there real nice. And anything that we can't get with the hand sandpaper, we can get with the little scuff pad. And I can't find them right now. Here he is. 
little scuff pad and we're just gonna hit the rest of those parts that we couldn't get with the hand sandpaper with the stuff that get these cracks real well. And now this section here is done using a DA finish sanding with DAs. Another option is good old-fashioned wet sanding. It gives a good quality finish there's no dust or clogged paper, and you can see what you're doing. The disadvantage is it's a little sloppy getting the masking paper wet and the tape wet. All you need is a bucket of water, clean water, a few drops of soap, a squeegee to wipe it clean, a rag, and a half sheet of paper. This is 320, but you can use 400 all the way to like 600. And if you fold it over, real nice and tight and neat the paper won't bunch up on you so what you do and I like <clears throat> I like a bucket of water as opposed to a spray bottle because you get more water and more water means your paper isn't gonna stick to the surface now I just take the rag like that and I get a lot of water and I hold the rag up here and I just let the water flow down and I just do circles like this and you can really really see what you're doing and you can go like this you can go this way or you can go around in circles And we used to wet sand whole cars like this, and it's actually pretty relaxing. And you just take another grab, another rag full of water, and you just keep going. And we're just going to focus on this square. And then you can come back like this. But you do not want to go like this because then you'll get finger marks. This will not give you finger marks. And neither will the circular motion. Alright, so I think we got it pretty good. Let's squeegee it and see what we got. And if we blow that clean, we can see that it's all taken care of. And so this little section is finished wet sanding with 320. Last, we can wet sand with a block and a guide coat using a quarter sheet of sandpaper. The advantage is it gives the straightest possible finish. The disadvantage is that it's a bit sloppy and the paper and tape get soggy. But it's a good idea to remask before painting anyway. To do this, you're just going to have that bucket of water with a few drops of soap and the squeegee. And you're just going to take your water and we're just going to get this nice and wet and again hold it up here so that I can add water as I need it get the block wet and we're going to use that guide coat to make sure that we get absolutely everything perfect and again we're going to sand this way this way back and forth and around in circles and again we're just going to concentrate on just this little area right here and you can see how well that that guide coat can help get this very very straight And all you have to do 
and sand until that those black specks of paint are gone. And really, you can't get any straighter than this. This is. This will get you the show car finish. We're going to stay away from the tape and the handle. We can get that after it dries by hand. Okay, let's see what we have. And I do see a little bit right there. And that should be good. And I don't know if you recall, but in a previous video, I think it was the last one, I had a tiny little high spot about right here. And now, after we blocked that, we're real good. No longer present. I have a little bit right here. And that's good. That's ready to be painted. I finished up this area dry sanding the spots I couldn't reach with the DA or wet sanding in these body lines and the contours and then scuffing everything else that I couldn't get with the sandpaper. It is possible to dry sand the whole thing with paper like this but the paper tends to clog easily and you'll end up spending just as much time clapping out the paper as you are sanding. I hope you enjoyed this video on three of the most common ways to finish sand primer or paint and if you did and you'd like to get my latest videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button.